Oh, you have to try to read it like Matt. Damn, Chief. Nah, just read it. Yeah. Yeah. Send Matt it in! Intended, Dear intended squad, read it. This dismiss, there will be no defacing of some secular, jolly Christmas song. <laughs> for it is with a heavy heart that I write to you. Finally, I am able to reveal the true reason that I am not at this year's dismiss. Uh oh. In 2041, I will steal a prototype of a time machine from the physics department at Caltech <laughs> and use it to visit my 2006 self on December 21st. <laughs> I just finished talking to myself, <laughs> and I found out that my future self came back in time to tell me of the unfathomable horrors that our futures hold. I thought it said horrors for a second, but it doesn't. In short, each member of the squad will be immeasurably screwed, unless we can alter our destiny. <laughs> Let the parade of mind-tearing bizarrity begin. Chief, be warned. In 2012, you will win an Oscar for your documentary, Homo erectus. <laughs> oh, yes. About the homoerotic undercurrents rampant in male social groups. As you are on stage receiving the award, a certain member of the Rolling Stones will walk in. He'll walk into the back of the auditorium after using the head, and some jackass will call out, "Hey!" It's Keith Richards. <laughs> there will be no one to shout Bobby Joe. Because you will have waited too long to get tickets for all of us. It will all be over in ten minutes. Do not procrastinate. Paul, you will get married to a nice girl named Penelope. <laughs> You both will not turn out to be assholes. Oh, it's your yes. kids. Something's <laughs> got to be wrong. That's all I can say. You know what I mean. You can probably get a certain car off of eBay and steal some radioactive material from my room. Johnny. After years in the hospital office, you will start to absorb medical knowledge. Despite our hope that you would one day work in the entertainment industry, you will instead find cures for AIDS, cancer, bird flu, and the mange. What a freaking waste. Eric, what can I say? Unlike everyone else, everything works out great for you. Sort of. In 2019, you will become the new king of Jordan. <laughs> you will rule with an iron scepter and punish the downtrodden. All will run in fear, but you will trip them. <laughs> However, <laughs> tragedy will finally find you. See below. Hmm. Brian, <laughs> the army will call on you again and send you to Fallujah. You will be caught in the bloodiest battle the world will ever see. It will make Armageddon seem like a little girl's fairy princess tea party. You will fall after killing 48 men gruesomely with your alto sax. <laughs> Steve, if Vicky is in the room, someone cover her ears. Against your wife's wishes, you will fly down to Mexico for a chili eating contest in 2009. You will win but all will lose. <laughs> the acidic and loathsome cloud created by your unholy flatulence will decimate organic matter within a 30 mile radius. All that will remain will be your wedding ring and the accursed bowl of pestilence. <laughs> Tom. Sadly, Tom has no future. Because there is no Tom. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> the being we know as Tom is accident actually an alien replicant probe. <laughs> My future self found this out one day when Tom made the grave mistake of upgrading his alien operating system to Windows 2020 and crashed in front of him. As we all know, Tom's alien curiosity about Microsoft begins with his 2006 purchase of Xbox 360. <laughs> so is Karen a replicant too? No, only an unfortunate participant in intergalactic research. I know that they are not with you, so I instruct you, do not tell her that you know. Or or do tell her, what do I care? <laughs> Tony, 
You will taste the rainbow in about 34 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or I could just tell you that you'll choke on a Cheeto, thus saving your life. Cheetos. 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 Yeah. However, that would Pops. be unethical. Whereas telling everyone else their future seems to sit okay with me. Fine. All right. All right. Don't have any Cheetos tonight. Happy? Good. Let's move on. Since you get the privilege of reading this, your section sucks. <laughs> Marcus. An alien being will crash land near your house and eventually take over your facial hair similar to Spider-Man's Venom suit. <laughs> your bloodlust will be unquenchable, like Johnny's desire for fabrics from the Far East. <laughs> Only the Activator series of self-cleaning electric shavers from Braun will be able to stop your treacherous rampage. Braun. Joel. You and Kim will get married. Aww. Aww. And in 2040, you will run for President of the United States and win. Your success will be attributed to a campaign that focuses on what people will call Lishus. Lishus. <laughs> One of your promises will be. What does that mean? One of your promises. Oh, la issues, perhaps. Uh, okay. Or Lishus. I'm not really sure. One of your promises will be to finally end the war in Iraq. You made the most obvious mistake of choosing me as your Secretary of Defense. Most likely for sentimental reasons. In 2041, I will end the war by simply the creation of an antimatter bomb and dropping it on the Middle East. The Persian Gulf will become the Persian Ocean, and I will hold a press conference and say, Work, didn't it? Come on, we were all thinking it. Thus ruining both our lives. Sorry, and uh, oh yeah, sorry to Eric, King of Jordan. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Consider yourselves warned. As for me, I like my future and I'm sticking to it. Well, I just finished writing this and then my future self walked in the room and told me that this is all some sick joke. <laughs> Okay, I just got done murdering my future self. The guy was over 60, so it was easy. <laughs> After that fiasco, here's the freaking song that you may have wanted in the first place. Oh! Sing it, Tony. Uh-oh! Eye drops in noses and something about mittens. Chainsaws that jam when you're cutting through kittens. Brown paper packages oddly ticking. These are just some of my least favorite things. Cream colored ponies and crisp apple strudels are stupid ass lyrics that must rhyme with noodles. Wild geese that live when I shoot off their wings. These are just some of my least favorite things. Dung heaps and lichens and relatives' ashes. Napalm that clings to your burning bright asses. Toothaches and genies and jellyfish stings. Thus I have listed my least favorite things. When the head splits, when the ant spits, when I feel like ass. I simply remember my least favorite things and then I feel... Friggin' worse. <laughs> oh yeah, and I hate 12th century Europe. <laughs> 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 